Hey, Cam. I want to add an image to GIMP, but I don't know how. I just can't figure it out. Well, in my tutorial, I thought it was kind of obvious, but I'm getting a bunch of messages on this, so I might as well help out here. Open up GIMP. Remember that uh, channel template that I made a little while back, the one that had two layers? Uh, well, open that up. The XCF file, I believe it's called. Uh, open. And channel templates is here. And... Uh, yeah, the 3D channel template. I call it the 3D channel template because it's got two layers. See, it's got the uh, background layer, which is actually the foreground layer because of all the layers are in the new layer. But I know how it is because it's my template here. If you don't know how to make this, go to part one of my tutorial. Well, okay, and next thing you're going to want to do is open up your image that you would like to do. Uh, like any image that you want to do. Um, like what I got here is where there's the pictures and I'm going to use this Macau cobblestone street here that I got. It's a real stock image. Whoops. I, I, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, file open as layers. That's, that was my mistake. And then I can find it again. Okay. This one here now it should open. Oh, it opened perfectly. <laughs> it opened right in between the layers right where I wanted it actually. Um, so sometimes it appears like right above, um, the other layers like that. Well, what you want to do is click on the layer and then move it down below the thingy and then, uh, move it wherever you want to using the move tool like so. But I, I think it, it's good right here. And that's basically, uh, like, yeah, something like there. And that's basically how you add an image to, um, uh, YouTube template channel thingy, whatever. But PK Gam, I have two pictures to use. How do I blend them into the same channel theme? Oh no, what am I gonna do? Okay, okay, okay. I know how to fix that too. For the sake of consistency, I'll be using the same image, but I'll be using both halves of it. Again, open the image's layers. Uh, this time I'm gonna be using the cobblestone texture right here. And uh, there it is right there. And then I'm gonna move it to... Uh, the left side here just so it shows to the left side of the video player there and then I'm going to be opening another of the same image as layers uh, picture at a cobblestone just like so and then move it to the right side here just like that and as you can see we got a, a two uh, textures right there I'm gonna zoom in just to show you oops not zoom out zoom in just like that and but we've got this little problem here behind boxes You'll see if I uncheck this layer here that the boxes, I mean that the images don't merge completely. So what you do is select a, a layer that has the cobblestone that you want to check or pick a color from. You want to merge this as seamlessly as possible. So take this, the, take the color picker tool and then pick a color that's like really next or inside the image there. And uh, see I got like a grayish, bluish color thingy here. Okay now. Now select very, very bottom image that has absolutely no color on it, and then fill it in. And then you get something like this. It's all in between the pictures and stuff like that. And uh, maybe I'll move this one up just for the sake of, uh, uh, as I said, consistency. It's just like that, so it's even with the other one. And uh, to blend these two images in here, I'm going to uh, merge them with the background layer. Uh, merge down and then merge down again and now all three uh, I mean all the textures are merged into the same layer that we've got both cobblestone things on both sides merged with this background color here now you want to take a, uh, a paintbrush here and make it a fuzzy one like this one right here circle fuzzy 19 and you'll you'll get something that's really really small well upscale it like this Make sure it's on the same color as this right here, and then just blend it in like this. You want to make sure that those lines don't show, so to speak. So it looks like that the image blends, or I should say fades right into the uh, um, background color, just like this. Just keep going around the edges and going around the edges, just like this, no biggie whatsoever. Do that around all the, all the sides and just, yeah. That's basically how you blend it in, and obviously I did a sloppy job of it, but that's basically how you do it. But BKGM, I also want to put textures inside the image boxes. Okay, calm down. Calm down. We can get through this together. <sighs> okay, first what you want to do 
is uh, open as layers once again. The cobblestone image I'm going to be again using for consistency's sake and put it above the boxes this time. Yes, not, not below the boxes, above the boxes. Obviously, this is not a big enough image for the boxes, but, well, maybe I'll just put it on these upper boxes here. And as you see, the, the boxes... Uh, it goes right over them, so it'll cover up your nice box job that you have there. So click on the, uh, I mean, so uncheck that layer right there so it's not visible, and then click the background layer here, the, uh, I mean, the one that has all the boxes there, and then right click it and then click al alpha to selection, which will make uh, outline appear around all the boxes. Now make this one, this picture once again visible, just like that. And now you see that the alpha to selection made lines appear just where those boxes are. Uh, around the cobblestone pattern here. Now right click on this layer and click add alpha channel. What that'll do is make this layer right here transparent. Uh, I should say have transparency if you cut out portions of the image. So what you want to do from here is click edit, wait, wait, select, invert, edit, cut. Wait, wait, wait that, oh, okay, that did, <laughs> what was I thinking? Okay, select none. And that basically textures your boxes just like that. I'll zoom in to show you what I did there, if you can see. And just like that, it has cut out the boxes exactly where you needed them to go. And you can do this for absolutely any picture you can find ever for all eternity. BK Cam, I want to add a big image into a small space. How do I do it? Okay. Okay, relax. This is the absolute last thing you'll need to know to add images to uh, the channel templates. What you want to do here is open as layers. In this case, I'm going to be opening up one of my channel icons, like right here. I think, which one is it? No, not that one. This one! I'm going to be using the Snorlax for uh, LOL sake. And uh, open it as layers, just like before. Now you've got the picture right here. Uh, zoom into that picture so we can work on it a little bit. Now what you want to do here is add an alpha channel to that image, just like before. Add alpha channel, that'll make it a transparent potential image. And then take your eraser tool, grab the biggest circle brush you have, uh, which is likely circle 19, and then scale it up to ginormous, and then simply erase all the parts of the image that you do not want to move to, oops, ah, oh, poopers, that you do not want to move to uh, the next spot that you want to place the image, like, um, if you have a square border or something like that, it, it's just a easier way than to use the um, nodes tool right here, if you were to click the paths tool and make a, a path around the image instead of, um, cutting it out that way. I think this is a lot harder to do and then, you know, select, invert, edit, cut. But that's a lot harder to do than simply erasing around the image that you want to uh, use, just like that. Uh, if you have to, just zoom into the image so you can get even more precise. Take a smaller brush if you need to. Uh, what, whatever you need to do to get this image cut out, do it. So uh, now what you want to do is uh, move the image over to where you want it. In this case, I'm going to put it up here where I put my bloody PK Gam name. So I'm going to grab the move tool and then move it all the way up here. And oh my god, it's way too big. What am I going to do? And I also did a very bad job of cutting that out. Hold on a sec here. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, that's a lot better there. That is just a rough cutout for the sake of this tutorial. Now, um, I'm going to move it to somewhere I can show you easily. Now click the scale tool, which is this thing right here. Now click on here, click on the image, and then make sure that this chain thingy is linked. Click on this button right here, the chain. Make sure it is linked. Now scale the image down until you can until it's a usable size. In this case, that right that right there looks like a usable size. Then click scale. You can always adjust this later if you need to, but I'm just uh, for the sake of the video. Uh, yeah, that's still a little bit too big, so I'm gonna scale it down some more. Uh, and make sure everything's linked and then scale it and click scale. There we go. Now I'm going to zoom into the spot that I, I want to work with it uh, and grab that image and move it over. I think over here is a good spot to put it, just like that. And um, 
If you need to be more precise with your cuts, as I said, you can zoom into the image itself and erase more of the image that you want. Uh, I mean, erase the border around the image that you want. And then, uh, uh, let's see how close I am to the edge. Oh, I'm right on the edge. That's exactly where you want it to be. And then click select. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> and then click on the layer and then merge it down, which will merge this uh, picture with the layer that is, in this case, the... Uh, um, the colors, uh, not the colors, the boxes themselves, and that's just about it. That's everything that you need to um, make your own channel template or add pictures to your uh, channel templates. You can make your own theme. Um, that... Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys later. Hope you, I mean, I hope this tutorial helped. Bye.